In this lesson, let's continue to talk about query optimization and let's define what a search space is. So the job of the query optimizer is to create and assess as many execution plans as possible within certain criteria in order to arrive at the best possible plan. We define a search space for a given query as a set of all the possible execution plans for that query. And any possible plan in the search space returns the same results. In order to find the most optimal execution plan for a query, a cost-based query optimizer should generate all possible execution plans that exist in that search space, and then correctly estimate the cost of each plan. However, that's just not possible, and with some complex queries, may have thousands or even millions of possible execution plans. While the query optimizer can only consider a large number of execution plans, it cannot perform an exhaustive search for all the possible plans in a query. If it did, the time taken to assess all those plans would be unacceptably long and would probably have a major impact on the overall execution time. So the optimizer must strike a balance between optimization time and plan quality. For example, if a query optimizer spends one second finding a good enough plan that executes in one minute, then it doesn't make sense for it to try to find the perfect and most optimal plan that's going to take five minutes of optimization time plus the execution time. 